Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly, Bishop Bowser. What I'm about to present to you will work for any woman if you follow these simple steps. It will work for you and it doesn't matter what kind of odds are against you. The biblical character Ruth, who you find in the book of Ruth, Ruth had tremendous odds against her. She was a widow. She was poor. She lived in a foreign land called Israel, and she was not an Israelite. That alone should have eliminated her. She had to compete with many other women that were Israelites, and she didn't know anyone. But none of that mattered because Ruth discovered the secret to how to attract a good man. The first step you must take if you're seeking to find a good man is give up everything for God because that's what it, that's what Ruth did let's look at the book of Ruth chapter 2 and verse number 11 where it says Boaz answered her I know about all the help you have given your mother-in-law after your husband died you left your father and mother and your own country to come to a nation where you did not know anyone so I want to tell you just as Ruth left everything behind you have to leave behind your past. You will never attract a good husband into your life, bringing unhealthy, excessive baggage with you. The man that you attract into your life is not there to carry your baggage. He's there to carry you. Stop hanging around people that's going to only attract negativity into your life. A good man doesn't want a miserable woman which he has to work hard to make and keep happy. So that's step one. Step two, listen to those with godly wisdom that has been there and done that. Ruth's mother-in-law, Naomi, had been there and done that. And we find in the book of Ruth, chapter three, verse one through five, the message Bible, her delivering a powerful message of how to find a good husband to Ruth and it says one day her mother-in-law Naomi said to Ruth my dear daughter isn't it about time I arrange a good home for you so you can have a happy life and isn't Boaz our close relative and one with who, whose young women you've been working maybe it's time to make our move tonight is the night of Boaz barley harvest at the threshing floor Take a bath, put on some perfume, get all dressed up and go to the threshing floor. But don't let him know you are there until the party is well underway and he has had plenty of food and drink. And when you see him slipping off to sleep, watch where he lies down and then go there. Lie at his feet to let him know that you are available to him for marriage. Then wait and see what he says. He'll tell you what to do, Ruth said. If you say so, I'll do it, just as you told me. And that's Ruth chapter three, verse one through five. Many of you could have spared yourself some grief and heartache if only you would have listened to sound advice. You are not going to live long enough to make every mistake in the book. You need a wise, godly woman or person to guide you like Naomi, Naomi guided Ruth. You need a woman like that to counsel you and show you how to attract a good man. Proverbs eleven fourteen in the Message Bible says, without good direction, people lose their way. The more wise counsel you follow, the better your chances. And I'll tell you, your chances get better when you listen to godly advice. If you are going to attract a husband, my sisters, into your life, you will need someone to show you how to make a move. You are still single because you have been making the wrong moves. The wrong moves will attract the wrong person into your life. Step three, stop opening your legs to every man you date. <laughs> Ruth laid at Boaz's feet and didn't give it up. And Boaz respected her. Don't fool with a man that will not respect you as a virtuous woman. 
If a man asks to have sex with you before marriage, he doesn't respect you as a godly woman and he's treating you like a whore. Ladies, you will never find a good man if you give it up to every person you date. If you want a good man, maintain a good reputation. Look at what Boaz said about Ruth in Ruth chapter 3 and verse number 11 says, Now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do everything you ask because the people in our town know you are a good woman. Listen to that. When people say a good man is hard to find, that doesn't mean there isn't a lot of good men out there because there is. What that means is if you are not what he is looking for, he will be hard to find. Boaz was easy to find because Ruth was the kind of woman he was looking for. Out of all those women in Israel there were they that were looking for a husband, Ruth was the one that attracted a husband. If you are a worthy woman, you will find a man that is worthy of you. That This is part one, and I will be posting part two very soon. So share, like, and comment. God bless you.